Hello, how's it going? I am doing good. My last video I was not doing very good, but I'm doing much better now and I'll share more about that at the end of the video if I have time. But I really want to get right in to this video today. So the main gist, the main idea that I want to get across for this video, in this video, is that sometimes in relationships, we are trying to get something from this other person that's just not available. This message came to me from my own personal trauma recovery coach. Her name is Rachel Kent. I was telling her about the situation that happened that I was talking about in my last video where something bad happened in my family. And my mom was involved. She had a negative impact, negative involvement in the situation. I was just talking about how I wasn't ever really sure how to interact with my mom or with other people in my family. And it's very fluid. Things will happen and I make a decision like, I'm over it, I'm done. And then a little while later, I'll decide I'm not done anymore for a variety of reasons. And what Rachel, my coach, asked me was what the goal is for me. What do I want in that relationship? And she brought up this analogy of it's like trying to go to Home Depot and buy milk. And at first I was like, why would anyone do that? Home Depot doesn't sell milk. For anyone who's not in, I don't know, the Midwest or America, I don't know where Home Depot's boundaries are, where they are and are not, but it's a hardware store. You know, they sell hammers and nails and paint and bathroom things and kitchen appliances and all that sort of jazz. They don't sell milk. They don't sell groceries. Then I got it. Like, oh, that's the point of this analogy is it would be really dumb to go to Home Depot and try to get milk. And applying it to my relationship with my mom and my sister. Oops, <laughs> other people in my family. Yeah, my sister and just other people in my life. That analogy made a lot of sense to me. And so I wanna share that with you and just kinda of talk about it a little bit more. And I don't know, there's another thing that I wanna bring up here. Someone commented on a video of mine recently. They said, in watching your most recent video, I think that you are still not well because you haven't successfully gone no contact with your narcissistic mother or with your whole narcissistic family system. And I just want to address that I don't believe that's true. And I've thought about it. I've thought about that. At times when it was true, when I was a mess due to that part of my life, I have gone no contact. When it has influenced me so much, I didn't know who I was, what I wanted from life at all. I went no contact because that relationship and that person, my narcissistic mother, really influenced me and made me foggy. Fear, obligation, and guilt just fogged up symbolically my mind. And maybe not even symbolically, like maybe neurobiologically, I couldn't think straight. I was not using my prefrontal cortex, I was using my amygdala and like my more primitive brain structures just in fear and like not sure what to do instead of my brain, you know, fog, fuck my fog. And at that point in my life, no contact was good. But now in relationships with these people in my life, I don't have to be no contact in order to keep my mind online, in order to act from a place of courage instead of fear or desire instead of obligation, from a place of worth instead of guilt and shame. And so it's different now. These relationships are not the reason why I struggle sometimes. Life is the reason why I struggle sometimes and why you struggle sometimes. You know, I think that putting all of the weight of our struggles onto this one person or our family even as a whole is not fair. There's so many factors that contribute to how we're feeling. Instead of placing blame anywhere, taking responsibility making sure that we're acting from a place of courage and desire and worth is what we want to build up rather than try to just like take away all of the structures in our life that make us act from a place of fear obligation and guilt instead and so 
I don't know that's what I've done and that works well for me and going back to the symbolism the analogy of trying to buy milk from Home Depot and applying it to these relationships that just really cleared things up for me on like what I can do moving forward just another proactive thing that I can put into place within these relationships and within all of my relationships so with my mom my mom is personally not the person in my life who really destroys me who I get really really messed up from after interacting with her so for me with my relationship with my mom it does feel like trying to buy milk from Home Depot is applicable to her because sometimes I try to like have her hear me and I, I it's really good for helping me build my communication skills before past version of Allison would not even try to have her understand me I didn't even know how to express myself I didn't understand myself that's not ideal that's the point uh, it's like I shouldn't look to her to understand me that's like going to Home Depot and trying to buy milk even if I can describe to the Home Depot person like hey I'm looking for milk really clearly without fear they're not gonna have it in stock they just don't have that and so my coach Rachel said what do I want from that relationship and the things that I want are unique and interesting and I'm not gonna get there with this video uh, everyone's relationships are so unique but um, I don't know that helped me gain clarity and I hope it helps you gain clarity but returning to that comment of the reason why you're not well is because you have not gone no contact with these people it's valid in another relationship in my life I already kind of said it so my sister my relationship with one of my sisters I would compare that not to going to Home Depot to buy milk but what came to mind just organically during my session with my coach was it's like going to a crack house to buy yoga classes or to do yoga. I've never been to a crack house. I don't want to make light of them or anything, but like continuing along that analogy, in my relationship with my sister, we are either so good or so so bad in a way that really negatively affects me using the analogy it's like i go to a crack house <laughs> go see my sister and i say let's do yoga and then we get high and we do yoga and then it's wonderful and then we start to come down or then the police come knocking on the door and maybe there's a shootout or like some terrible thing happens and like actually my health inside the pretend analogy like I just did drugs I'm not well I'm like very not good maybe I'm withdrawing you know what I mean it's like a place that I don't even want to go in that relationship I really 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 have to be careful I don't act from a place of fear obligation or guilt there but I do sometimes look for things that are maybe not available and I I don't feel wonderful in the interaction sometimes and so it's something to just think about you know instead of saying that Home Depot is the worst we can never go to Home Depot like we can just go to Home Depot for hammers and nails and sometimes when we need a new refrigerator but don't go to Home Depot to try and buy milk and this crack house person in my life my sister like it's just something to think about like do I want to go there and you know what another thing I want to say is I don't know for sure it's not black and white this person is not the only thing wrong in my life whatsoever at all I don't blame them for anything so sometimes I don't know sometimes you won't know and being confused is okay not knowing for sure is okay and just follow your heart in this moment and if you realize that something's wrong pull back go home 
come away from Home Depot or the crack house and just come home and chill out for a while. And don't force yourself to come to a new decision or anything. Just follow your heart and then follow your heart again tomorrow. And you know, alignment, knowing what you want to do in this moment and then doing that is I think where happiness does come from. So if for you, you just don't want to go to Home Depot, that's fine. If you do, but you want to learn how to buy only the things that are available, that's fine too. And I have to go. <laughs> abruptly I have to get going I have a client session really soon but I just wanted to make this video and share these thoughts with you so thanks for listening I guess I'll give you guys an update on how I'm doing maybe in the description box below check that out if you're interested if not that's fine too and I'll see ya next week I hope that you have a really good one a good week that is I'll talk to you later bye